So how are you? You good? What's going on? Good. I just thought um, we'd have a meet up today just to just, you know, just speak to the our community and just let them know exactly what's been happening. Um, it's, it's always good for um, the community to, to just really know what we're doing. I know sometimes what happens is with us is that we are building behind the scenes, even right now, as we speak, um, I was on a call with the devs. I've got to even jump back on a call with the devs to just continue building some of the, the features that we're trying to build. The idea of um, the feature sets that we're releasing is to be able to differentiate ourselves from the existing competitors. Otherwise, there's no reason for anybody else to use us because as it stands we have um there's already two leading dex aggregation projects out there that are really kicking some ass and are really good tech so for us to stand out we need to be adding some of our own unique features and this is what um i was trying to and some of the team have been trying to relay back to the community and the rich AI community and sometimes, you know, when the concerns we're seeing with um, in the Investex community. So basically, um, I wanted to just today show a few of the uh, latest tools and just give a quick run through and a demo of what's actually happening and what we're doing and why what we're doing is so important. And um, yeah, so let me screen share right so um can everyone see my screen can you see the investex um home page jay Can you hear me, Jason? I think I've lost Jason now. Let me... So, um, one second, let me just double check. Um, Oh, okay, one second. Do, 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 do. Could you hear me? Can you hear me? No, we can't hear anything. We just saw a screen share, but there's no volume, no audio. Okay. Okay, no, right. can't, can't hear you, can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, great. Okay, cool. Good stuff. One second, and I'm going to start the screen sharing, and I'll just run through. Okay. Um, can you guys see the, the landing page? Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So... The landing page is obviously the first page that everybody sees when you come to see InvestX. Currently, we know there are other projects out there that are really doing some amazing work, um, which are Dex Screener, Dex Tools, which we really like um, what they're doing. And what would, why would somebody use InvestX if there's already those projects already existing? So as we, we you know our usp has always been our organizational tools which is the workstation and which is the interactive calendar um, investing scheduler 
and um, risk management tools. These tools are always being our flagship tools that, you know, set us aside. But as it stands, those tools are, I mean, not saying they're ahead of the crowd or they're a little bit ahead of the curve. We still need to, um, they're, those tools are more, um, are going to be useful and pay dividends once we actually have more users using the project and using the platform. And what the alpha DGMs want are comprehensive tools. So what we decided, what we have done recently is, if you look here, there were, let's have a look. I can hear feedback. Someone's mic is giving me fe some feedback. I'm not sure who it is. Just, yeah, so if you look here, this is current, this is our current page, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so two, four, six, eight, nine columns, okay? Now with the latest update, we're gonna have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen columns now. Which what that does is what you can see is that we're we've added more significant information onto the onto the home page. And what that does is it makes it more useful and more effective for when we do attract new users because then influencers who you people want to discuss Investex, they only want to showcase the most comprehensive information. Now we have that. This is on the beta, so it's still not being pushed currently over to the production server. We're just doing some more tweaks, but this is what we've been working on for the last, say, two weeks, just... Um, it, um, adding more information, going through what we think is valuable, what we think is going to be needed, and this is what it is. So, for example, now, as you, before, we used to rank each project here by liquidity. So the biggest liquidity pr um, projects would be at the top. It was ranked by liquidity. As you can see before, we listed like 30 projects per page. Now, we're listing more. There's 63 projects on the page and we're pulling much more projects now onto the landing page. And this is so much more useful for um, DGENs looking for new projects, right? So this is <laughs> what we've been working on, guys. And... Um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more. So as before, I explained to you that we were ranking by liquidity. Now we're ranking by transactions. So if we go back to page one, you can see we're, trend, we're, we're, we're ranking by 24 hour transactions. And here you can see Pepe has, has been traded more has more transactions than say hex say pulse x say pulse and what this does is this lets the community know which projects are have the most transactions and it also helps to filter through the rugs because most of these rug projects don't have more as many transactions as this so this is a really good way for us to indicate what is actually happening in the market per chain and we have this now for Ethereum. So we can see now immediately which projects are where all the transactions are happening. So Sheeb 2.0, there's 22,000 transactions happening here. This would be something that you'd want to be looking at and identifying with and so forth. We've also added Is the, that, are mm -hmm. those transactions... Uh, within the 24 hours as well same as like with the volume yes so I would, I would add like a if you could add that variable there 
For the it would what? be cool, just like with the volume, if there's a way to um, yeah, to filter through for, that, for, for, for filter through for the one hour. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but I think do you do you guys have? I don't remember if if you guys have the different intervals for uh, transactions and stuff. Yes, we yeah, do. do. So, so, like on the profile, you have like fifteen minutes, one hour, eight hours, twenty-four for like the sells, buys, and all of that. If there's a way to integrate that onto that specific page, that would be cool to toggle through the different time. Yes, tables. yeah. So basically, that's def good point, and that's what we do plan to do. Right now, what we're trying to do though is like you know just <laughs> it just to roll this feature out because. You know, the, there are competitors out there. You yourself are a trader, Jay, and you know the importance of, you know, when you show or not show, so you promote a project, a new up and coming project, you as an influencer, which is the, the, the Beyond FOMO brand, want to know that not only are you, um, you know, promoting a project like Inverse Dex that has the, you know, the latest ui and the tech you want to make sure that you have the most comprehensive um information so that your users who are following you will be like why don't you use this project why don't and then it'll be they'll be like actually investex has everything and that is what we're doing we're making sure that before we really push the marketing which we we have been simultaneously working on a an affiliate program an affiliate um the um, platform that we're you know that will have all our services and our products that you guys i mean people that push our promote promote us will be able to earn something from um we know that the build the, the bare bones of what we're doing is data aggregation service and for us to actually to you know really kick start and to grasp the market we have to make sure that the fundamentals of, of our platform uh, have all the information that we need and i'm ex this is the beta so no this is the first time you guys are seeing this but as you can see we have as mentioned there's 13 columns now we've actually added i think four more columns than pre than the previous um here even though this you know looks awesome it's lacking some crucial information and we have we're making sure that we have um it's here now and you know so as you can see it's you know what decks v2 v3 Shib shibarium shiba right so you know this is um let's go to the binance chain Remember, this is beta, guys. So this is, you know, it might not. Yeah, okay. So got a pancake swap, and this look, and as you can see now, it's ranked by transactions. This is a key indicator. This lets you know where all the volumes happening, where's all the trades happening, right? And you know, this is great for people looking for the a strong alpha projects to be jumping into. So going back to like Pulse Chain, this is cr critical because as it as you can see today, Pepe, what would this tell you guys? Pepe, Pepe is the most um, traded pair the this last twenty four hours. And as you can see, there's 1.6 million in volume being traded on this. Yeah, right. That's all. That's a lot, right? So what I mean, liquidity providers who wanted to create fees of liquidity pools could be looking at this and be like, you know, I want to um, supply liquidity for this. I want to create a WPS a Pepe pair. So we have um, also added the FDV, FDV, the fully valid value here. Um, you can see what DEX is, um, you know, um, these pairs are being traded on. Eventually, you will see other DEXs showing up here, such as I think there's a, um, a new 
um, Dex being, which is launched on on Pulse Chain, which is called Nine Inch. It's a fork of One Inch. Um, they've memed um, One Inch. That should be releasing soon. I think in the next few days. There's Fox as well. That's P P A G U X. And this is how you know if we don't have these kind of information, you there's no reason. There's no point. Um, you know, pushing the market in. Now that we th these things are here, this is critical. And guys, w you know, I heard someone in the comments say, oh, Investex is looking great, but I'm not sure about Rich AI. Investex and Rich AI are like brother and sister or twins or whichever what you call it. They co are going to complement each other, right? Because if Investex is doing well, so will Rich AI. Because, like we mentioned, we're going to be porting over some of these um, data aggregation systems back into Rich AI, you know. Um, but the key thing is, is like, we're going to be building an app for Investex, but there's no point building an app currently until, like I mentioned two weeks ago, until we've fine-tuned and finished off this page. Because this is the page that everybody will be using and be seeing. And this is the is the home page. Um, we've also. Um, I saw I saw something else that I thought was really cool. And again, not to do so much of comparisons, but yeah, um, on Coin Market Cap. Right. Dot com, um, they introduced the fair and greed index. Well, no, well, there's this other thing. So the circulating supply. So since you have the. Uh, fully diluted value there on coin market cap. What's interesting is under their circulating supply column, they actually have uh, like the amount of tokens and um, like the circulating supply max supply there, which is okay. actually let's, let's, let's have I a look something at that. visually, let's visually have, appealing. And let's have a look something at very that. good for traders to see. Okay. So this, yeah, yeah, this column. Yeah. So hover over it, uh, like, like BTC hover over like the the amount. No, no, on the right, under the column. Yep. See. So it has like a. It looks like it's like a progress chart, but it shows the amount that's fully in circulation. Hmm. Okay. So what we'll do, I'll I'll come back and I'll take a screenshot. Because of a lot of people, unfortunately, when you talk about market cap, a lot of people don't know the difference between something that's fully diluted versus. Uh, just the market cap, and unfortunately, even Coin Gecko sometimes gets that data wrong, right? You know, some projects will say, you know, they'll have us at like five million, but our real market cap is only five hundred thousand because yeah. they're not and I mean, understanding what's locked up or, or anything. Yeah, and that, and that's a, another amazing point, Jay, because with Rich AI, they had our market cap wrong. They had our fully diluted market cap, which yeah, was exactly something you know they made us it was good it was complimentary because it looked like we at one point 100x but actually in reality we were our market cap was only like forty thousand, and if that was properly presented it would have helped us really moon at the beginning because people would have realized we were still a low cap gem and with form um with much more potential also as you can see with this coin market cap, and I'm glad you mentioned them. Is look, they've recently just added the fair and greed index. We've had this, you know, this tool on our page for a while now. So you can see this is on beta, and this is on the thing. So this is showing you that the things that we're bringing, and the tools that we're trying to introduce are critical tools and effective tools because you know coin market cap have recently done it. Also, as you can see, we're we're now um, like with Coin Market Cap, they have these boxes, these stat boxes. We're also creating our stat boxes. This one here is for um, for pulse stats, and what this does is it showcases the prices of the pulse chain. So basically, those people that you know initially invested in the pulse chain um sacrifice which was their version of their so you know ico situation where you was able to you know 
um, sacrifice your tokens for, for political freedom and for, for, for political movement, um, freedom of movement, um, you are able to then basically sacrifice your tokens at a value at um, Pulse was 0 0.0001 and Pulse X was at 0 0001, um, f four zeros and a one, which means as it stands, what this will do is it will let the ecosystem in that sense be able to work out how, whether their money is basically on the water or not. So for example, if you're holding Pulse, even though it's up 3%, there's going to be some mathematics or some calculations here which will let you will identify how much under it is from your original sacrifice value to see whether, you know, you know, are, is it currently in a good position or is it in a bad position? And currently, um, if you had been holding Pulse you'd, uh, you, and got in from the sacrifice phase, you'll probably be about... Um, I think zero point five percent, like five percent, um, under your value, and with PLSX, you're on about you're under about seventy percent. So this information is going to be here. But the reason why we're adding these kind of um cool tools is because, as we've mentioned, Coin Market Cap, Dex Tools, and these other leading competitors do not have these such features. And this is what will make the communities that we are thinking of migrating to or to be building on and myself as an investor that who, um, you know, has, you know, very bullish on the Pulse chain ecosystem. I want to know these data. I want to know how much, um, whether or not the investors of the original SAC prices, SAC, sat their tokens in Pulse or Pulse X are on the water, you know, and this is good to see. And it's sometimes it's, it's good to know sometimes that the investments are down and then, you know, and then, you know, over months you will see it gradually rise and then eventually you're going to be seeing that, you know, Pulse X might be 5X, 10X and so forth. And this is what this does. We've also created another... Um, and, tool which is um, i'd say 80 percent complete this is um why after this call i'll be jumping back and just going through this um testing this new um feature it's called the hex combined chart and i i think over a few live streams i've explained the um the significance of 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 this so basically the pulse chain um, Richard Hart did an airdrop. An airdrop was a one-to-one -one airdrop, which meant that anybody for Ethereum holders, so anybody who held Ethereum, um, subsequently received, um, and if they met the snapshot, would have received a one-to-one -one ratio on their holding. So if you're holding, in this case, a million hex on Ethereum, you then receive a million hex on the Pulse chain. So. What, why that what does that, why does that matter because what happened was was people um who were holding um hex on the on the ethereum side have obviously seen their hex their value their value of hex on ethereum drop down it's basically um dropped down to 0 0.07 cents so I mean, and that's maybe 90% down. But what this does is, this tool does is, it just lets people know instantly that actually you haven't lost as much as you may think you have because you've got the double value on both sides. So if you combine the total, which is this tool, so this is currently only showing the hex on, um, on the pole side, but like when we push this, this will be the combined price. So let me click this and I'll show you the combined price. This is actually now the combined, the combined price of hex on um, WPLS and W on WEF. And what this does is this is going to change. This is going to actually be 26 cents, um, 22 um, cents, six. And as you can see here, 
it's showing the trades that are occurring on the Pulse Chain, which is the Pulse Chain, sorry, and Ethereum. And we are going to be probably, hopefully, if we can get this done by over the weekend or by Monday, we'll be the first to actually have this. And the reason why I came up, well, the team came up with this idea was because we saw some of the top influencers actually creating these kind of combined charts. But like Frankenstein mode, they were basically taking tools of one chart and then putting it into another and just creating a Frankenstein um, combined chart, right? And I thought, wow. And then I looked in the comments and I was like, I could see the community saying, oh, where's that chart? How do we get that chart? So it spawned my idea and I thought, you know what? Let's create this chart and let's be different because guess what? The competitors that we are... Um, you know that are there haven't got ch this chart so we um, this also let's um, let me go um, go back in time the reason how we were able to um, you know have that partnership with Floki I don't think um, many of you remember but one of the our uh, business guys who um, is you know part Moyas who ML you guys some of you guys remember ML he was a um, a big Floki advocate, and he was like, um, "We need to have combined charts for Floki." So we said, "Okay, cool," because no one no one else has it. So we built the Flo the Floki combined charts. We posted it in their community, and you know what? They added us our unique chart to their Rosebot, and. From then, it, we were receiving lots of good traffic coming in from their from their community, and subsequently, when our good f friend Octavian reached out to them and just said, "Look, um, you know what's happening," and we, you know, they wanted to partner up with us, and we um, introduced the Floki Locker. So the key point that we're trying to make is that we are adding unique tools and features that are effective and that are community building tools and this is sometimes what we this is our plan and this is some of the things that we're doing we've also got this another chart which is the e hex hex pls and and P P um, pls x chart which this chart will basically showcase the pr the total price and the significance of this chart it displays what the the original price of hex would have been before um, the sacrifices, before the idea of hex, the, um, sorry, before the idea of Richard releasing pulse and pulse hex, and it, it also gives it just another cool um, feature that no one else will have as will have. So this is currently. About eighty five percent away from occurring. We um, also are working on. I'd have to. Um, um, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to. Um, show you this, but what we we're going to also have here, similar to Coin Market Cap, is that we're going to have the, our trend in here. So as soon as you come on the the platform, you'll see what projects are trending on what chain. You'll also be see what projects have recently updated their token info, and you'll also see the biggest and um, the big the biggest gainers and losers here. Similar to what um, we see with um, Coin Market Cap, we're going to be having that. So then, what that does is again, it just brings all the information that people want to see immediately to, to to them. Yeah. So Jay, do you want to say anything? I'm just. I'm waiting for a response for the devs to get the other stuff ready to rock and roll. That's it. It's yeah. time for marketing. You can only keep developing and building so much. Got to just get it ready to put it out there. That's it. Yeah. Um. They. 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 You know. Um. The. 
I, as we mentioned, I think I mentioned to you, but we do need to have the Google API. That's that's what was needed. Um, so I think we just as soon as we finish this call, we can jump on and just get that finalized. Um, in yeah, because we're you know as you yeah, we're, let's get that going. We're you know we're we want to rock and roll, and and I think. It will. It's it's coupled with what we're we're doing here. It's really cool. Um, the. So, do you want me to? to, to oh, also, what we've also done is. Um, I don't know if some of you guys have seen. We've also like you know, added Rich AI here, as one of the top tokens. And as you, we can see, we do we we you know we are aware that there's li, li, not much volume and not much transactions happening and this will be changing soon we um the also i wanted to show you with the multi charts what we're doing now is we're creating um this is or this is predefined pairs that we've inputted onto the suggested charts so you you just click one click of a button it will just give you each token put on each chain which is which um what we like to always do is um as a trader is compare pulse or whichever project that you're looking at with the btc why that's important is because btc is the market dominant um project and this the project that the SEC haven't deemed a security and it's the what's as you, we saw with recent posts on the news that um, you know BlackRock and the CEOs from there have are all now they're actually calling it digitized gold which some of you would have heard before but it's very good to hear from institutional um, fund management um, CEOs that they are also saying it publicly that Bitcoin is a digitized gold and not only are they saying it, it's digitized gold they're saying it's an international asset meaning that's not bound to a country which is also amazing so the reason why we as a data ag aggregation company always t tweets out about bitcoin is because it's important there's no alt season without a bull um a bitcoin season right a bitcoin summer or a bitcoin run a bitcoin rally is it, it, it all the reason why that is is because each of the major exchanges the major um each token that have the most liquidity they're paired with btc so you'll have btc with pepe bbc with eth btc with link btc with lido btc with all the top liquidity projects right and that's why it's bonded so if btc goes up then so does the old coins and then eventually what happens is is that the liquidity moves once people say okay once bitcoin reaches let's say it goes to thirty-five thousand, smart money would be like look <laughs> let's now jump into these alts and you know because the alts have the bigger multiplier and that's when you get the alt season so the key thing for us and everybody who's an investor or a trader, they need to really look at BTC, right? Because without if BTC crashes, all the alts come down. If BTC drops today to twenty five thousand, all your favorite altcoins are going to bleed very badly. So they are paired and um, they're bonded. So with um, us, we what we've created is like. We like to try to just make the platform as intuitive as possible. We're currently for so for the Pulse ecosystem and for myself when I'm trading and looking at the comparisons between two, I like to look at Pulse with BTC and ETH and see how they're doing. And then we're also creating. Let's have a clear one. We've also created a new one specifically for the Pulse Chain um, ecosystem, which is showing Pulse, PLSX, the incentive token, um, obviously Hex from Ethereum, and then Hex on Pulse Chain, and, and Pepe right now. And then I'm going to create one more. And then what that does is it just again just adds that layer of easy to use that user friendliness that you know some people haven't got time to just be 
pre-populating this so what we'll do is we'll have um, suggested predefined setups that you can just click and it just gives it just that you know ease of use and it also helps um, users get a grasp of what they should you know, have a, be, be having a look at um, so yep yeah, that's been done um, Like once again, we get some answers from the dev and we start speed rolling all this stuff. That's when the big updates really come out. That's when things will really start to shine from there. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Exactly. Um, duh, 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 duh. So with, with the rich AI, we, um, we have um, been working on the print on demand. I had, um, a good call yesterday um just having a look at the how that ui integration is going to be but what i'll probably do is i'll probably leave that for today because i think today i think i've covered quite a bit in terms of investex and i want this to be the the talking point and 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 the last you know i want us to really understand that we are in good shape this is really critical this is really cool stuff that we're doing and um we're not just wasting time we aren't we are you know we are here every day we're t t t let's say 12 hours a day um and you know we're here not f to mess around or to we, we we truly are passionate about what we're doing um we're building this for a long time and we definitely want to get this into the right communities and the right people using us and making sure that we you know are a success a big success you know um are there any questions nope. i think the next time we do these amas schedule it out and have it on to like twitter spaces yes and other accounts yes from just telegram i mean you know what it was is that today was like what's called it was an emer not emergency one but i thought you know what we're building we're building we're building and i see some uncertainty in the group so i, I wanted to just meet the group because sometimes you know when when you start scheduling things is it, 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 it's really cool but it we would have missed this moment today you know and i wanted to do something off the cuff you know and you know something natural so that you know because it, it, i'm like i explained to everybody i'm an investor like all of the guys who believe in investex and rich ai and i'm like they in the uk there's a program called dragon's den and where, where um investors go and pitch in front of the dragons to get to raise capital for their startups and the 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 biggest dragons you'd always say be the person you'd invest in and that's what we are we we are the we have that perspective of would i invest in investex why would i hold investex and the reason why we want to do this ama is because if i was in a holder in investex i'd want to hear especially when there's a bit of fud going on in the group i'd want to hear from the team i want to see what's going on so this is why we wanted to do a raw off the cuff uh, meeting um, meet up you know just have a quick talk and then eventually what we'll be able to do is next week we'll start really scheduling out the these meet these meetups and you know and we want to make it fun now, next week I want to start having a little bit of music I don't want it to sound so like serious I want it to be you know have some atmosphere some ambience and you know we'll have some speakers eventually but you know it it we're on the right track. It's all, all just consistency. Just keep yeah. doing it. That's it. So let's have a read some of this. Let me just have a look at this. Landing page looks page looks nice. Amazing dashboard. So let's give a heart there. <laughs> um, good details from the daily transactions column. Yep. We could have more time frames too. Yep. Um, with this beautiful product, I'm sure it'll be a good comp Brilliant. So this person really knows. And this is what I, I'm trying to explain is that people really you know they you know they know what's out there you know and we need to cr cr get the the tech up to speed you know people always say it doesn't matter about tech and it doesn't matter it does you know um i'm uh, my first. 
Oh, I don't know why that is. Um, brilliant. So this is what they're saying. That, so I think there isn't really many... Less, I don't think there's any more questions. So if there's a, no one... If there's no questions for today, then what I'll do is I think this person will be the prize winner today just for just you know contributing and just taking their time out the day to um contribute um the yeah jay i um i i think i've kind of spoken um i think you've spoken as well i think it's exciting to have you um on air with us um to you know I think it's going to be really cool when when we get this next part done. So I think less. But you you also hinted that we are literally doing like twelve hour days here, so it really doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It does not stop. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. As soon as this finishes, I'm going to drop you guys a link because I'm going to be listening at um at five p.m. Um, to a show called Shill Tank. Shill Tank is hosted by Moon Kings. Moon Kings is um, a group of um, the two, which is I think B Roots and another guy called Ian. And basically, those these two have, especially in the case of B Roots, he basically invested in Sheba when no one else believed in it, then became a millionaire. Which is into Pulse chain, right? Yeah, and he became a millionaire. So basically, what he's having is he's having a um, a battle, or let's call it a versus. It's um, memeability versus utility. So the show is about um, today. It's going to be in about 20, 15 minutes. It's going to be hosted by B Roots and a guy called Buck. Buck is from Fiat. Fiat are um, an amazing project. They they um, basically are like a stable coin for like derivatives for um, Pulse Chain, and they also have created some more some other projects called Fox. I mentioned you earlier. That's their um, um, it's, that's their Dex, and they've also created um, a wallet tracker and a leverage project called fame so the founder from there is super clever high net worth individual and he's pushes utility and basically the debate they're having is to discuss whether pulse chain can 10x or 100x so in the eyes of b roots who is a shiba inu whale or I don't know if he's cashed out or whatever, but he made the million Trump thing. He believes that Pulse Chain has the ability, his bearish call is that Pulse Chain can do 100x, and his medium call is that Pulse Chain can reach to, um, I think he said, 700 billion market cap. So if for it for Pulse Chain to do 100x, and I'm glad that we mentioned this because I want to quickly, um, for two minutes, just explain to just touch upon the the reason why all these statistics like poll stats that i have been um showing which is this and um the reason why we've made pulse chain our premier project which is this is because we're trying we, we we are bullish on the chain and we are going to be um creating liquidity pool over there and we'll talk about that again next week because I just want to just um, kind of keep this one short and sweet. But the the debate that's going to be happening in 20 minutes is basically B Roots, who believes that Pulse Chain can 100x as his bearish call, and he believes it could actually even maybe 700x because he believes that the market capitalization of Pulse Chain can reach to between 100 billion to 700 billion. And this is based on um, us um, on a year and a half prediction, because obviously based on the stuff that we look at, and the reason why I'm very interested in the way these guys think is because it follows in line with our trading mechanisms and the way I always say to zoom out the market don't look at the market as it is now look at it from a long-term perspective and basically understand that it's it trades in cycles the bull market's coming in 
in April 2024, um, and generally um, the parabolic phase is four months, six comes six months after the halving. So we should expect in December um, the, the the top, and then that's what he's also saying and reinforcing the point, and he believes that Polish can do 100x and that on a bearish and that will mean the 100 billion market cap and then if it's bullish super does really well and this is all do it all to in line with um ethereum becoming a one trillion asset so one trillion asset means that it would fall four x from here and then the theorem will be ten thousand um dollars per eth and obviously with Bitcoin, it's, the Bitcoin market capitalization could hit 3 billion to 2, to, to, sorry, to 3 trillion to 2 trillion market cap, which will then build, take Bitcoin to 85,000 to, to 150,000. And as, um, and these things are very valuable for all our, you know, community members. These things that we're given is real alpha for you so that, you know, you think with a long-term perspective, if you see on the Twitter, we're always mentioning an accumulation phase, the building phase. This is the space where projects like Investex, which are, is building when everybody is bearish, I mean, bearish and fearful, we are the ones that are building and showing that we are conviction to what we're doing. So today, the AMA that um, we're dropping the link for you guys to jump into because I think it's really interesting to hear another perspective other than ourselves who really um, believe in what we're doing and it's going to be between the B Roots and which is the Moon Kings and Buck from Fear and Buck from Fear is a very very clever guy he's a um, high net worth individual he's created the three projects I mentioned which is Fame, Fear, um, Fatty and Fox actually four projects and Basically, he um, believes that Pulse can do like 10x. He's, he's, he's um, on the prudent side of things. So it would be very good to just have a listen to what they think. And then I want all our community members to start like following these um, influencers online and, you know, and just let them know even you know about us you know just i want you to follow what's going on so that we're all on the same page we're all singing from the same hymn sheet and we're all understanding the vision of where we're trying to take this product so yep um i've recorded this so i will share this in the group so it's later so that anybody who has missed it can have a listen and yeah you need last words jay Time to get to work. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Bye. Thanks.